Hey there, hi there everybody, Rob Von Chu here. Odin is making his big debut in game. He has got a lot of potential for his pre-fights, making people worthy Norsemen. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun playing around with that on the beta server and hope to pull a, one on the, the live server here. So that's what we're doing here today. But starting off, opening up a couple of the premiums, get some of that bad luck out of the way. Shushan method has been working out pretty okay, somewhere in the realm of about 51% of the time. So, you know, fingers crossed, right? But I got uh, the uh, the bonus one that is in the Black Eyes Home Market. So uh, let's uh, let's dive right in here, shall we? I got to say, I, I think out of everybody here, I, I think I'm most excited to make uh, Angela worthy in-game. But there's just so much potential between shock resistance and the aptitude and, and whatnot. I don't know. We'll see. But spinning out the first one here, see a bunch of champs in the room. Ooh, ooh, got the big red one. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Four star. Okay. Very nice. Well, there, <laughs> there we go. There we go. One in, uh, one in done on. Okay. Well, that is, uh, the first one down there. Got, uh, the four star Odin, which honestly is, is good enough. It's good enough, you know? Um, cause this pre fights apply to, to everybody across all different rarity levels. So, uh, not bad. Not bad. Here's the uh, the six star rolling pass right there. Second one here is going to be a four star Proxima. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not great, but you know it's not a three star. So so far uh, two for two for non three stars. That's a big plus. I will take that. Let's see what else we got here. What do we got? Still see the uh, the usual suspects going around the reel right there. You see Korg. You see Wasp. That Odin did roll around a book before. I haven't seen him again. Speaking of which, Korg again. But that is a three-star Mangog. He's got the same thing as a uh, Modok going right there, where the uh, designers created a, an entire like spherical eyeball that just shows a very weird and transparent on the dupe. Okay, I I notice weird things. I don't know. All right, so that's that's three crystals deep, two four stars. Got a three star. Saw this five star Odin rolling around right there. Um, a five star Mangog would also be brand new. I'm currently grinding for him in arena, but uh, it'd be cool to get him here as well. Uh, that is not nothing. <laughs> that's nothing worth writing home about. Uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, re reset this a little bit, shall we? So just uh, back now, bring it back in, pet method it, bring it up again, see how that goes. And, uh, you know, hope for the best, right? All right, so let's put another one in the reel. See what the reel's looking like. Starting off with a five-star Odin right there. That's very cool. Of course, the reel is no indicator of, you know, what you're actually going to wind up getting. But, you know, fun superstition and all that. Second one here is going to be... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, well, <laughs> so much for resetting the luck, right? Well, let's uh, give this a rapid pop here. And out of six, uh, I'm waiting on everything. Uh, one new, oh, so five star Thor. That's a max sig. No, not for the five. Is it? I don't know. Oh, okay, but then, okay. All right, well, so the uh, plus one is a four-star Mangog, which also winds up saving me a, a second grind, which I certainly appreciate. Uh, and uh, another three-star, so... Okay, well, that uh, that's not bad. Got the featured and sub-featured as four-stars, so that is a successful opening in my book. All right, so we got some uh, APOC crystals here. He is back in the store as well. Uh, got some units saved up going for... Uh, hopefully a, a six-star APOC, because that would be fantastic. I have missed out on the six-star version uh, this entire time out of the Featureds. Wound up uh, getting... I'm not, not complaining at all. Not complaining at all. I've had a fantastic run with the current batch of the Featured six-stars, but a six-star Odin would be pretty nice, too. Rolling past a couple uh, sixes there. Got the four-star APOC. I wouldn't have minded that six-star Jugs, to be honest. Get a couple more sigs on him. Uh, would have been, I think, a bit more immediately useful than uh, extra four star. But let's uh, let's see what we got here. Give that a pop, cause why not? 
And out of nine, that is no new. Two Apox there. Two three star Apox. Uh, that's not great. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Just throwing them that subtle six star Nexus down there at the bottom. Like interspersed with the Maxigs and the ISO. Man, that is subtle. That is subtle. All right, well, there is a six star Nexus to open up. Let's go find that, huh? Oh boy, uh, I, I I think I'm gonna open it now. I think I'm gonna open it now because I mean, waiting another 12 days means that they get some new champions in the pool. But uh, there's too many good things in the basic pool already. So let's put this in real and see what winds up happening. I'm good for anything. Brand new champ, first time awakening. That is, oh boy. Well, um, well, okay. Well, that started off looking pretty hairy there. Waking up Groot and hoping he gets better, so I'm just going to ignore that. Phoenix, I think, would be a fun as a first-time Awakening getter, that regen, but my 5-star is max sig 200. And I'm going to go with uh, Hulk right here. But that is going to do me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video, and we'll catch you next time, all. Take care. Talk soon. Stay safe. Be well, everybody. Bye for now.